What's up y'all, Late Series Pro Matt Airy here, and I want to give you a tip for some late summer, early fall fishing. Uh, one of my go-to techniques this time of year is, is spoon fishing. Uh, spoon sizes vary based on the forage in that particular lake. Sometimes it's really small spoon, sometimes it's really big spoon. I consider this kind of a medium-sized spoon. Um, I'm throwing it typically on a seven and a half foot Lose Custom Pro heavy action rod. I've got a Hypermag reel, uh, seven to one gear ratio, 15 pound P-line fluorocarbon, and let me show you what's cool about this technique and the way I like to rig it for this time of year. A lot of times this time of year you're dealing with a lot of schooling fish, big groups of fish, things like that that are keying in on bait. And one thing I found in the past is I have hooked some doubles by running a stinger hook on my top split ring of my spoons. Guys, remember that this technique is a lot of fun for fun fishing, but be sure to check your tournament rules to make sure this rigging technique is allowed. Now what I've done is I've lost a lot of those fish, so I've learned to do something a little bit different. I'll take a leader, if you look up here at the top, I've got a barrel swivel tied with about a 12 to 14 inch leader sliding down to my spoon. And on that leader, I've got a feathered treble hook that's able to freely slide up and down that leader. What that does, when I'm jerking that spoon up and down, this feather actually slides up and down this leader. So to those fish, it looks like another little piece of bait, another piece of that shad, something that came apart, something that's wounded. And when you do double up, and I've caught some fish just on this feathered treble. Um, when you do double up, you've got a lot better chance of number one, landing them, and a lot better chance of actually hooking a double with this technique right here. Um, this is a technique that's, that's caught me a lot of fish over the years. And like I said, when I hook a second fish on that top feathered treble there, or, uh, or hook two fish, that fish is able to move up and down as opposed to pulling against this spoon if it was attached directly to the split ring of the spoon there. So um, that's a, a spoon fishing tip and I've used it other times during the year, but this time of year it's been really key for me to, uh, to get a lot of uh, double ups and things like that and to catch some of those fickle fish that might not want to hit that spoon. They'll grab that treble, that feathered treble that's sliding up and down that leader sometimes. So use that late summer, early fall, all the way through it, even into the winter time when there's still a strong uh, spoon bite on your fishery and that'll help you catch more fish.